Hello and welcome to Vion World is One News. I am Raghavendra Rao and we have a big breaking news coming in right now. India's protests with Ramallah bear fruit. India says Palestine regrets association with Hafiz Saeed. This is the big breaking story we are tracking for you at this hour. India's protests with Ramallah have borne fruit. India says Palestine has regretted its association with Hafiz Saeed. This after Palestine's envoy to Pakistan was seen sharing a stage with global designated terrorist Hafiz Saeed in Pakistan. This is a move which angered India because India has had very strong ties with Palestine and has always stood by that country. India had lodged its protest with Palestine following which the Palestinian government has expressed regret for this episode. Joining me on the broadcast is Vion's correspondent Khalid. He is joining us from Delhi. Khalid finally India's protest with Palestine over this meeting or sharing of stage by the Palestinian envoy to Pakistan with Hafiz Said. Finally, that protest uh, has had the desired impact. Palestine now expressing regret for it. Oh, well, yes, definitely it was indeed a shocking meeting uh, that took place in uh, Rawalpindi in Pakistan. Uh, they were uh, indeed uh, celebrating Al-Quds Day, which is in a sense uh, a, a day representing the uh, aspirations of the people of uh, Palestine. But at that time, uh, the Palestinian ambassador was uh, present with Hafiz Said. He not only shared stage with him, but was also seen sitting with him and also expressing his support uh, to the Palestinian cause, saying that uh, the Muslim arm armies uh, from different different sides have come together against the United States. But in India, it's a very significant development because we know Hafiz Said is someone who's uh, accused in the 26-11 uh, terror attack. Hafiz Said, the designated UN terrorist, is now uh, getting some sort of a institutional credibility from the Palestinian side with this meeting. Uh, today, uh, the Palestinian ambassador was in fact, uh, Palestinian ambassador to India was in fact uh, given a strong protest by the Indian side and Palestinians have really uh, agreed and said that they will take cognizance of this matter and will act appropriately. And this comes at a very significant time because we have seen the reactions coming in from India have all been adverse as far as this meeting and this rally was concerned. Because the Indians are saying that we have given support to Palestine for many, many years. In fact, India was the first country to really recognize uh, Palestine as a state. And now Palestinians at a very crucial juncture when the war against uh, Jamaat dawa and the Pakistani terror groups which are infiltrating in Kashmir and wrecking havoc in India, uh, they have somewhat uh, been given some sort of a, a, a institutional credibility by the Palestinian ambassador in Pakistan. And that is why today the Foreign Affairs Ministry has raised a strong protest in this regard and the Palestinian side has assured full support. But we must say here that the credibility of the Palestinian state is really coming under question because all experts and uh, particularly the citizens of India are expressing deep shock as far as this meeting is concerned. This comes just days after when India supported Palestine's cause in uh, the world body United Nations where India was among the countries which ruled against, which voted against indeed uh, pa uh, Israel and uh, America uh, regarding the right. shifting of American embassy to Jerusalem. So clearly uh, there's a big development that the Palestine is now accepting somewhat tacitly uh, their fault and saying that they will uh, really act appropriately in this matter. Hold that thought. Khaled also joining me on the broadcast is my colleague Aisha Sindhu. She is joining us from the Beyond Newsroom. Aisha, uh, India has uh, enough reason to feel wronged by what happened and obviously they have raised this issue with the Palestine authorities. Uh, do you expect this particular episode to sour relations between both the countries? Um, as far as the uh, developments go, uh, Raghavendra, you're absolutely right because India has shown its commitment to Palestine on numerous occasions during their uh, historical ties. Uh, in fact, India was one of the first non-Arab states to actually recognize the state of Palestine. So uh, it has always uh, sort of pursued this uh, multilateral uh, sort of approach towards uh, Palestine and Israel. It's always supported a two-state solution. India has never pivoted completely in 
in either country's direction. Um, so it's uh, it's unfortunate that this development has taken place. The outcome on the relationship uh, will have to be seen, though Palestine has already tried to do uh, some mitigation by uh, expressing uh, sincere apologies and, and deep regret at this development in Pakistan. Right. Requesting you to stay with me on the broadcast, Aisha. Also joining us is T.P. Srinivasan, former permanent representative to the UN. Good evening, Mr. Srinivasan. Uh, this particular episode, uh, how do you see this panning out, sir? India raising a strong protest with Palestine and now Palestinian authorities expressing regret for what happened. Uh, do you see them taking any action to, uh, you know, just, just uh, uh, better the equation with India? Well, I think we'll have to now put this behind us. I was saying yesterday also that we should not jump to conclusions without finding out from the Palestinians what exactly happened. So it appears obviously that this ambassador acted without authority in the first place. And secondly, he may have gone there because this event was supposed to express solidarity with Palestine. This could be the two explanations. But whatever it is, it's a serious matter and we have taken it very seriously with the government, with the Palestinian authority and whom we call the government, of course. And um, so they have they have explained and they have said that they will take action against the envoy. And uh, so I think we can put this behind us because this should not affect our relationship with Palestine because that is too important and precious the relationship. And um, so the this this... Maybe we can close this issue and make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Srinivasan, for joining us uh, with your views and perspectives. Also joining me on the broadcast is Vyond's senior correspondent, Ramesh Ramachandran, who tracks the Ministry of External Affairs for us. Good evening, Ramesh. Uh, what do you make of these developments? Uh, first, the Pakistani, the Palestinian envoy to Pakistan sharing a stage with Hafiz Saeed. India protesting and now Palestine regretting that episode. Good evening, Raghavind. So this is what happened in the last several hours, both here in New Delhi and also in Ramallah. We are understanding that India conveyed its displeasure to the ambassador of Palestine to India when he was called to the Ministry of External Affairs here in New Delhi this morning. And simultaneously, the India's representative in Ramallah called on the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Riyadh al-Maliki, in Ramallah, and also conveyed India's uh, displeasure at the same time. Following that, uh, Palestine has conveyed to India that uh, they will be recalling their ambassador to Pakistan, back to Ramallah, for discussions, and that Palestine has conveyed to India that it stands with India and with the international coalition against terrorism, and that this, should not, this one event should not be construed as uh, Palestine uh, going against the interests of India. And for India's part, as uh, we've been reporting here on Beyond Raghavendra, India has conveyed its displeasure that saying that uh, the ambassador's association with Hafiz Saeed is uh, quote-unquote unacceptable and that uh, the Palestinian side has conveyed deep regrets over this incident and assured India that they are taking serious cognizance of their ambassador's presence at this event. Hold that thought, Ramesh. Uh, I'll go back to Aisha Sindhu. Aisha, the fact that India and Palestine have shared close ties and now recently we saw India voting against, uh, against Israel and in favor of Palestine at the UN uh, resolution uh, which voted recently over President Donald Trump's move to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Now, in this entire play, in, in this entire uh, political play between uh, Israel, Palestine, United States, uh, where does India find itself? And now, when something like this happens, uh, is it likely to make things difficult between uh, India and Palestine? You know, um, Ramesh, the, uh, pardon me, Raghavendra, the interesting thing in all of this is that, uh, like you mentioned, India very categorically by choosing to, um, you know, join that resolution against uh, President Trump's uh, Jerusalem decision, in many ways it was also siding with Palestine, um, something that it has continued to do. It has continued to uh, develop its relationship with both Israel and Palestine uh, over a period of time. Now, it's interesting that all of this is happening at a time when in 
India has uh, shown definite commitments towards its relationship both with the United States and Israel with Prime Minister Modi visiting uh, Donald Trump earlier this year as well as becoming the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Israel. But I don't think this is going to have a huge impact on India's relationship with Palestine or its standing so to speak because if you look at it India has, uh, by choosing to do what it has at the UN, um, it's maintained its sense of sovereignty and its sense of independence as far as its foreign policy uh, initiatives go, its foreign policy um, directives go, by not siding with any country and remaining committed to, uh, let's say, a long-standing policy towards uh, the two-state solution in uh, West Asia. So um, it's it's uh, not that this is going to have a huge impact on the relationship between uh, India, the United States. States, India and Palestine, India is going to continue to walk that path of uh, maintaining friendly relations with all these countries. But it will be interesting to see how the United States chooses to react um given that uh, President Trump has been extremely vocal about his criticism for anyone and everyone who's done anything contrary to what he thinks is, uh, you know, the right way of doing things uh, or uh, that's basically, uh, you know, uh, another way of saying whatever's right for the United States. So um, India maintaining its uh, position in all of this, uh, deciding to go ahead with its foreign policy, but also expressing its regret and disappointment at the fact that this Palestinian envoy decided to decided to share a stage with somebody who is globally designated, not just designated by India as a terrorist, but right. who is recognized as a terrorist by the United States, the United Nations as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Aisha, for joining us with those perspectives. I'll go one more time to my colleague Khaled Shah, who's been tracking these developments at the Ministry of External Affairs. Khaled, uh, with the Palestine government now expressing regret for this particular episode, what is the sense you are picking up from India's MEA? Is it the end of this chapter or uh, can we expect more on this? Uh, well, yes, in fact, what I can tell you is that uh, the government, the sources in the government are telling us that the officials here in India are quite uh, angry with what, what had happened uh, because Palestine has, in a sense, uh, chosen to uh, show its support or to take support uh, from a globally designated terrorist, while at the same time it has angered world's largest democracy and uh, Palestine's perhaps uh, one of the long-standing friends. So it is definitely a difficult situation for Palestine at this moment. But as we said that the Palestinians have indeed uh, promised that they will uh, somewhat take action in this regard. Uh, they have called their ambassador to really explain his acts as they have uh, really come forward. We have to really wait and see what will happen in the coming days. But the out here uh, is pretty adverse uh, towards this particular meeting which took place uh, because in a sense uh, the uh, officials and as well as the citizens in India feel dejected that after many years and decades of support that they've given to Palestine at a time when India's relations with Israel are best at, at the highest point in many decades, uh, they chose to uh, side with Palestine. But on the other hand, uh, this unfortunate development that took place in Pakistan, where the Palestinian ambassador really uh, went and shared stage with Hafez Said, and not just that, uh, gave a speech to that uh, crowd that was out there, where uh, where Hafez Said spoke indeed, uh, saying that they will do everything to uh, kind of support Palestine. And we've seen how Hafez Said has had a right. anti-India stand, and how his terror groups have really wreaked havoc throughout the country. Right. I'll also like to go back to my colleague Ramesh Ramachandran, who continues to be on the phone line with us. Ramesh, where does this leave Prime Minister Modi's proposed visit to Palestine? Well, Raghavind, as of now, what uh, we are learning from our sources, uh, uh, both in New Delhi and in Ramallah, is that Prime Minister Modi's proposed visit to Ramallah uh, is still very much on the cards. Both sides are working together to fix the uh, to determine the dates, uh, the exact dates of his visit, but uh, most likely it will be in the uh, in, in early next year, sometime in the month of February. Remember, Prime Minister Modi is scheduled to visit the UAE for attending the World Government Summit. This would be in the second week of February, and it's expected that Prime Minister Modi might make a, a first uh, visit, first ever visit to Ramallah in Palestine uh, on or about uh, that uh, time he visits the UAE. Thank you so much, Ramesh Ramachandran, for joining us with those updates and perspective. Also thanking my colleague Khalid Shah, who was joining us from outside the Ministry of External Affairs in Delhi for his updates.